Shout out to Greenfields for this free joint we about to be puffing on. So it is a sesh joint? A sesh joint. Uh, you want me to grab that canister? It's just right over there. No, I think it's on. I no, this is the old one. Well, what it is, guys, is this right here is a, it's a sesh joint, which means it's <coughs> made by sesh, which is their own product, their own brand, whatever, whatever. But what it is, it's actually, I believe it's wax infused with this weed. So it's not just bud. No, it is not just bud. Now reading it here, is it Citral Skunk and then Race Fuel OG? Like which one's the, or is it two buds? Like I can't tell, is it two different buds? And then, or one's the bud and one the wax? <coughs> See guys, this is what it doesn't specify. Maybe out there, if any SESH member <laughs> or employee is watching this, maybe we could clear these uh, labelings up a little. Cause we're not sure if it's the, that skunk <laughs> or the OG. <laughs> Or like one's a, one's a wax and one's a pot. I don't know. True. You never know. But what it says right here, it's citrus skunk plus race fuel OG and 0.7 grams of wax infused. Who knows? So it's like a three quarter gram joint and it's like infused with wax with the, with the pot. True. Quite resinous. You can see that that paper is already getting oh, yeah. dark as, it, as it's burning down. It's you could already going. see the resins building up yeah. on it. So that's got to be the wax that's for sure concentrating that. And I'm not even sure what kind of uh, joint this is. If it's sativa indica, what I was not informed of that when I was given. Well, we should definitely find that out. So I will ask them at my next visit. Mm -hmm. Oh, on the inhale. Real clean inhale. It doesn't even make me want to cough whatsoever. On the exhale, it's got just, just this nice taste, but that could be because of that wax. <coughs> yeah, yeah. Very well could be. Um, for being wax infused, I kind of expected a little bit more for choke. Sure. I was kind of afraid on the first hit, like, oh, is this going to tear me up? I agree with that statement. I, I was. Uh... But I'm not dying. Like, I don't feel like I'm choking here. It's a manageable smoke. It doesn't feel like it's way too hot or anything. For sure. And usually, guys, I'm fucking coughing out my ass. Like, I on everything. Just because my lungs are so caked with whatever. But you could hold that in, like, if you wanted. Like, you can, you yeah. can even get, you know, clench it real hard. and it's, A it's good not little six, seven inhale. You know, guys, they say after uh, six to seven seconds of holding your weed in, after that, it's just it's uh, like that's plenty. Of yeah, time you're just getting deprived like, of uh, oxygen. Right, right. You're just getting the, <laughs> the, the, the ring and bell from not having enough oxygen in you. Yeah. Right. I mean, it makes sense to me, you know, because the smoke's only going to dilute or, or you know spread out so much. And right. <laughs> but for this uh, sesh joint, I expected a lot more out the wax. Like you thought it would be a more of a taste hard hit. Um, all of it. So like in, yeah. in the head and in the throat and, and all. But so then <laughs> almost like taking a dab and smoking a joint at the same time kind Probably, of thing. Or? Yeah, maybe something like that. But then again, when I always infuse my marijuana with wax, I go a lot. You know what I mean? So they probably just sprinkled them. But there's probably a point, though, I mean, I don't know, but I'm, I'm guessing there's got to be some point where there's too much. To the point where, you know what I mean? It's like fucking up the joint. Like you're not being efficient with the hash you know what i mean like you could probably only put so much in there before it starts to burn uneven and, i can agree with that i i don't know i don't know how they make these i don't know if it's like they um well this one seems to be doing the, fine like you see it has not nice run. and even oh yeah usually these i'm afraid to smoke coins or or, or cones or any pre-rolls just because they tend to run or sure. they tend to burn fucked up that's why i never buy them personally you know, I never get them that much myself because I think they're just kind of pricey. Like, like pricey, and you don't know what's in it. I mean, I don't, I don't know what these cost because the the people at Greenfields <sighs> True. were super generous and super and cool. generous. Um, and they actually informed me these are really cheap. Oh, really? Yeah, they're cheap. They're really well, cheap. Well, if they're affordable, so he then said no more than ten dollars. 
Okay. And okay. Which uh, some of you people might actually look at that as a steal. I know some places sell just regular pre rolls for like that much. Like just right. like not hash and fuse. It's just pot. It's like a grandma pot and, and it's ten bucks. Right. Um. I don't know. I, I don't think personally, they're the best smoke. Right. Personally, I will this, not. This is nice though. That. Like you're saying, it doesn't run. Burns evenly. It's it's packed well. So like you can draw on it right. It does. I've smoked on some where they feel like they're just packed right. so tight you can't even. Yeah. <laughs> you can't even get a hit. And this like is this has been like hitting right from the beginning. Perfect. Yeah. Right. Like a perfect draw. I agree with that. That's a nice point to bring up. So if you want like a really well, a, a good smoking joint, and, and you can't, you know, roll and them you're yourself. you're just on the go, ready to that's, go. That's ready to go, and that's nice. And it is very nice. Greenfields, shout out. They have good sesh joints. Shout out to sesh also. Sesh, keep good, doing what you're yeah, doing. Yeah, you're making good joints, guys. Making good joints. They, they burn right. Yeah. I would definitely. There's uh, plenty of them out there that are not so great. Recommend this to anybody on the go. And if you and, like your joints, yeah. And if you like your joints, and also the extra plus, like we said, it has it has wax in there. Who can't go wrong with that? And I'm I'm feeling that joint. Um, it's not it's not blasting me out. So I'm assuming this is probably like sativa, sativa hybrid, something like that. Could be. Um, Could I'm not be. getting like wrecked. <laughs> I'm not. I don't, nice bo- I don't think I fell body high whatsoever. I don't feel much but body high. <laughs> who knows? That it's could my, still kick like you. I don't know. could be so, more of the sativa thing. But I am feeling that now that you say that, the back of the brain high sort of starting to affect in. I feel good. Yeah, that's a nice joint. It is a good joint. I like it. And this is getting awfully dark here in the back. Yeah, that is getting resin, really resin. So total THC on this, guys, is 27.06. Now, if you could see that, let it try and focus in. And the total cannabinoids we're supposedly getting out of this, according to this bottle. It's like 30 or something. 30.85. Yeah, I, I took a glance at it. So that's that's the THC and CBD combined together. Okay. <laughs> or possibly also CBN. I don't even know. I'm not sure how this is calculated on that scale. I'm not even sure either. It could be uh, wax included. And I don't know if it says on there, but generally there's usually also, the rule of thumb is there's like a plus or minus when it comes to THC. It, you know, sure, we're, we're labeling it at this, but often it can be testing a little bit higher, it can be testing a little bit lower, but this is the average. Right. All right, guys. Well, Pleasant overall, smoke, I would rate this, even though we can't rate it on a specific strain or whatever, because it might have. Yeah, it's we don't know what the mix is. We don't is know what it and... is, but I'm rating these uh, just grab-to-go cones from Sesh. Overall, on a taste level, from one to ten, I could say a seven point five. I'm gonna give it a seven point five. Just because I love the taste personally, it doesn't have no bad aftertaste at all. I don't taste mm-hmm. any chemicals in the mm-hmm. aftertaste. I don't taste nothing like that. So that's good. But uh Yeah, I just think that's a fair rating. Just just because of also the wax too. I think <laughs> the wax didn't increase the rating like I would have expected it to. But it, it's good, guys. So taste level, 7.5. That could just be this particular batch. Just this one. Yeah, like yeah, you might get another just, one right. that's a tastier one, like an indica or, 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 or a hybrid that has like a sweeter taste. This one's just kind of, it's like a little skunky. It's a little, I don't know. It's hard to describe that. A little taste. bit earthy too, but that's not. It's not like <laughs> right. the predominantly earthy. It's kind of a mix. <clears throat> What's uh, actually kind of funny is I don't Maybe really a taste. Bit floral, I, don't, I don't really taste no wax at all. You know what I mean? So they hinted it in there so well. It's like, got to be like. I, I mean, I don't <laughs> oh, know. I don't. I don't I'm know guessing how they it's do it. it's it's like the herb itself has been infused, right. and then they're rolling the joint with it. Because I don't, I don't know how they do it where it doesn't run like that. You know what I mean? Because oh, whenever man, I'm, in, <laughs> whenever I'm infusing my stuff on my own, 
Yeah. It seems to run wherever it's concentrated most right, in the paper. Right, right. And that's because of, you know, we're we're not these professional Cutting manufacturers. Right, we're we're just kind of, you know, slathering the paper or, or dribbling right. some here or there. And, and, you know, maybe out of like a plastic syringe or like whatever application method, it's just not going to be as evenly produced as how they've done it. They, they've combined the the wax with the bud and it's uh throughout the entire joint it's not like lumped up in one spot or another. right <coughs> so how do you rate it taste wise taste wise i don't think it's super tasty uh i wouldn't i wouldn't say it's the the tastiest pot i've smoked but just overall like for, for the quality of the of the, of the high and, and and the uh, enjoyable smoke not too harsh it burned perfectly the whole time always hit good from the beginning to the end um i just say overall it's it's like a an eight an eight just in general i don't think it was particularly tasty like if you want me to say taste alone it's probably like a six but cool but overall value it's really there like it, it's a, it was a good burning joint nice darkness opinion um didn't go out on us burned even the whole way through all the way down you know yeah. what i mean like it's gone like we can right? we can keep going on that even we if, can if we wanted if we to, wanted to we can say that for another time yeah that's it's, that's it's where it starts done, getting down but, the paper guys but it's it was not guys bad save it's those good actually. smoke good smoke really good smoke yeah i would i would get if they have a deal if they were saying hey you know get four and get a fifth free or something i would i would definitely swoop up a five pack of them for sure and i will let you guys know if they do have a deal or if they are even open to having deals now so i will let you know keep you up to date on that but you guys have a good day i'm out thanks for the sesh see you tomorrow have a good day